celebrate our narrowboat with us. Welcome to our 2022 Decorate With Us! It's time for us to decorate our narrow boat for Christmas, so grab a drink, get cosy, and come along with us. I'm gonna do the outside jobs first, so autumn decorations are going. <laughs> autumn decorations, just a pumpkin. Now that all those autumn decorations are out of the way, we can put on our Christmas wreath. We don't tend to put too much on the outside because we don't like to draw too much attention. But this is our little wreath. And then on to Dupes' little house. Dupes is our bunny, here he is. So he has these lights up all year round but they feel extra Christmassy this time of year. And then he has his own little wreath of course. He's got a little stocking which we can put his carrot treats in. And then we've just got some of our decorations that we're just gonna hang from here. First things first, snacks. <laughs> Nothing says Christmas like cheese. Small cubes of cheese and smaller sausages. I wanted to do what we did last year but I forgot that we've got no cocked up sticks, which is why we've just got this strange assortment of savoury things. Like wow. Any, any good Christmas spread. That's weird. <laughs> it, it looked better in my head. From this angle, it looks like the snowman's the one doing everything. <laughs> Some gingerbread personnel. You've got to have mince pies. If you don't like mince pies, Unsubscribe. <laughs> don't really. Please don't. The classic combo. Listen, we're slightly restricted by what vegan options are available to us at the time. So this is why you get slightly odd combos. No Christmas snack spread is complete without our favorite mold apple juice. It's just the best thing ever. We don't drink alcohol, so this is the next best thing. Well, actually, this is we better. think it's better. <laughs> Then we've got this little pouch with cinnamon and cardamom, spices and cardamom starries. and stuff. And then as a backup, because we've got quite a lot, we have these little, they're almost like little tea bags, little sachets. We'll just put one in. Two, put two in. No, because we've got that. Got one of my favorite Christmas movies on, Arthur Christmas. Is it your favorite Christmas movie, Wes? No, it's riddled with plot holes. Wes only lets me watch it one time per Christmas season. <laughs> it is better though than Amy's other favourite Christmas movie, which is Polar Express, because their blatant disregard for physics just stresses me out. As you can tell, Wes is really fun to be around at Christmas. <laughs> We've got this cute little incense burner thing. And then... It comes out the little chimneys. It's so cute. I mean, it also slightly looks like the house is on fire, but I think it looks cute. Time to get our little decorations out. We store them in our excellent sofa storage. And of course, we've got our cozy fire on. Get some cheese, Rufus. No. Oops is just chilling on the sofa. He's made himself a little den. The, uh, the decorating fuel is ready to go. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Snack's done. Time to put the decorations up. No, no, dupes. No, no, Rufus. So this year we've gone for an artificial tree, but we got it second hand from a charity shop. And the plan is that basically we'll use it and then we'll re-donate it and then the cycle will continue. That way it just means that it's 
so much less wasteful and we don't have to store a Christmas tree for the whole year. And we donate a bit to charity as well. We haven't got a star, we still need to find one that fits the tree without knocking the whole thing over. I'm just going to use this birthday boy badge for now as a placeholder. Perfect. No. <laughs> but we will use this as a placeholder. Thank you. Trees all decorated, time to slide them into position. Oh yay! And the added bonus is that this year, because it's an artificial tree and the bristles are softer, we can use the light switch without having our hand prickled to pieces. Yay! It's really cute. Rufus is ecstatic. So because we're vegan and we can't have celebrations or roses or anything like that, we usually make our own. We've got some mint creams and orange creams which are accidentally vegan and we are gonna put them in this little jar and decorate it. <laughs> <laughs> You're so easily amused. And a cute red ribbon for bonus Christmas points. Every year I do a little, a different pose with our little Lego figures. Amy's told me to keep it family friendly. <laughs> Fun fact that a little figure I got that was years ago for Christmas. He used to have hair, but when he shaved his head, we just took it off. Hello. Oh, good morning, dupes. He slept through the entire decorating process. Nope, stay away from the wire. So the last few days I've been drying out these oranges that we have sliced and I'm gonna try and make one of those garlands. Finished living room. We got our Christmas tree, little snack jar, some fairy lights, little garland, this cozy corner, the pets. That's it, we're done. All decorated, feeling super cosy and ready for Christmas. Thank you so much for joining us for this special episode. We hope you enjoyed it. And happy holidays. Fashion, fashion, lights, lights, lights. <laughs>